Hello everybody! Today is March 23rd, 2023. Uh, this video is being filmed uh, as a completion of day 53 of the uh, Make a Video Monday through Saturday challenge. So today we're going to get into doing some more Greg shorthand. So I hope you like uh, what we're covering right now. And uh, once we finish the Greg manual, if you stick around that long, I'll explain why I am going through the the uh, process of teaching Greg shorthand and you might be a little surprised all right but that's going to be in a few videos all right so let's go ahead and get into it this is section 49 of Greg shorthand final initial and final s so if you remember that we had started our uh, our um, our discussion of s uh, how to form the that stroke in yesterday's video and so today we do a little bit more uh, um, studies of this stroke. So this is the initial and final S. Before and after P, B, R, and L, and after T, D, N, M, and O, the left S is used. So what do they mean by this? Well, the strokes essentially that would have the left S, and remember left is counterclockwise, right is clockwise. If you have these strokes so the downward strokes p and b um r and l the lower portion of that uh forward written eclipse and t d n and m so our straight strokes t d n m and o so o if you remember that is our o hook or our happy face right oh not uh. so remember this is our u hook this is our O hook. Okay, so if if you have any of these shapes, so it's before and after these various strokes, then the left S is used. So left S, remember, is counterclockwise. So it would be on a before and after P, B, R, and L. So that was a, uh, a counterclockwise motion and counterclockwise there counterclockwise, counterclockwise, then uh, L and R. So once again, we have our counterclockwise. Now that's before and after P, B, R, and L. That is really interesting. Hmm. So let's see, do they give an example? Actually, uh, we're looking for uh, the, oh, okay, yeah, series. Look at series, for instance. They do have the S in the left-hand direction. Very good. Okay, so that's the only example, but it would be written like that, like that, and remember after as well. And then after T, D, N, M, and N, so our straight strokes, our forward written straight strokes, then the left S is used. Like so. And then after O, the left S is also used like that. Okay, so those are examples. And then the words they give us to practice are sips, sips, sables. I think I made my strokes a little too big. There we go. Probably have to make them a little smaller here. Series phrase slim yeah Whoa. there we go uh tease like these strokes are teasing me right now days knees and mass Okay, so those are the examples of initial and final S. In all other cases, the right S is used. So you ask yourself, what other cases are there? Well, we have our K and uh, K and uh, and uh, G, our F and V, right? So the strokes that we have not used are K, uh, K and G. I believe that was the way that they pronounced it. K, G. F, V, uh, 
ch and j, the j sound. Um, am I missing other any others? Hmm. Are you hook right? Oh, the other way. You hook are evals and evals and avals, and I think that covers it. I don't think I'm missing any others. Oh, and then of course at the beginning of T and D. So all of those would have the right S. Remember, Cl uh, clockwise. Let's go ahead and start writing some of these out. So we have saves. Whoop. Saves, seeks, staff, seeds, snap, smash, sashes, Sketches, and sages. And then their final note here is a circle placed outside the angle in any of these joinings does not change the motion. All right, so that is the initial, that's our S's. And so we will now uh, carry out a frequent word drill. And you may ask yourself what the purpose of a frequent word drill is. And for that, you these are the words that you would write. I believe in the preface, uh, um, it was recommended that you were to write these out five times. I believe the idea was that it is not necessary to write uh, these forms any more than any more than uh, five times, otherwise it's just dull repetition. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this. 251, here we go. So frequent word drill, and we'll just power through these. Sell, sale, peace, pass, base, Busy, press, praise, need to make my A's a little bigger, uh, place, spell, spread, Spare, space. Ah, oh, that I missed my initial S. There we go. Space, less, ah, uh, slip. That'd be slap. Sleep. Asleep. Sales. Salary. Self. Trace, dress, class, crazy, now it's interesting that they would have crazy, oh, well, why is the reason why they have that, that 90 degree line? Uh, the reason being is that, that they want a Z. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that they would want a Z after that downwards 
turn, otherwise it would be crassy. And that's interesting. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, try and give an undue opinion here, but it is interesting that they would decide to do the uh, the ninety degree or the the stroke to indicate a Z on crazy because what other word crassy crossy hmm interesting so we'll just do it so crazy C say as all right and then our next set because this is a set of two so let me go ahead and pull that up here once again our elevator our elevator music would be in order there we go get over to that point uh 252 there we go has so as and has, the only difference is a dot. These. Easy. Season. Affairs. Uh, safe. Save. case and I did that back oh no I didn't there we go kiss guess gas sick and I'm gonna run out of room here I'll have to start doubling these up Let's go ahead and put them over here. Uh, we have one, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll continue here. So we do sick, sake, scheme, and the reason why they're doing scheme as opposed to uh, with a dot line underneath is so that it's not skim. I'm assuming, because the others don't have them. Scene, and then seam. Okay, so this next one, I'm not going to be fooled. I'm going to make sure that I double up sooner. Uh, here we go. Same. Sense. Seams. Sit. Seat. Said. Sad. Niece. Miss. Days. Uh, dance. And I ran out of room again. Since. Hence. Can somebody make these papers longer? I'm going to have to talk to the guy who makes these things. I need more paper. Minutes. Step. Oh, it's a terrible P. There we go. Step. And steps. Okay, and our final one. This time I will double up. Here we go. Catch me if I don't. Let me know in the comments. Oh, you messed up again, Nathan. Steel. Steam. I'm doing it. I better watch out. Stage. I'll do stiff over here. Stiff. Hmm. That would almost be SG. Huh. I'm going to cross that one out. I don't like that one. 
Let's make the J a little bit longer. There we go. Uh, stay. Stick. Do it next to it. Set. Sat. Oh, and no dot underneath. Uh, settle. Go ahead and do it here. Settle, silk, need, needs, uh, ladies, chance, ages. Oh, that was almost a V, wasn't it? There we go. Sketch. Whoop. And finally, study. Like, this presenter needs to study more shorthand. All right. So that was the conclusion of the uh, drill for this uh, uh, t today's video on Greg Shorthand. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, consider giving the video a like. It's uh, it's great. It's greatly appreciated. Um, go ahead and comment below if you if you uh, like uh, Greg Shorthand. Tell me what your uh, most uh, exciting shorthand experience was. I know that it's not very common, so we'll probably get some really interesting stories. Um, and yeah, share it, share it with anyone else who is interested in, in Greg. It's a, uh, the more I dig into it, it is just, it's a truly fascinating system. The whole, the whole world of shorthand is just, it's incredible to think that you had individuals able to record, to record uh, speech at the speeds that they did. Um, I think of a couple stories right off the top of my head. I think of, um, um, uh, uh, the the author Oswald Chambers or uh, the writer Oswald Chambers uh, he actually wrote uh, very little of what is considered uh, his greatest writing like his his um, short talks that he gave that was later uh, compiled into a devotional um, uh, a good deal of those of those texts were taken down by his wife in shorthand she was a, a very gifted uh, um, stenographer and worked primarily uh, to make sure that his notes were compiled. Um, on a secular note, uh, we, you had um, Charles Dickens and um, he was he actually started out as as a court reporter at, actually he was a he wasn't even a court reporter. I think his first job was, working for a newspaper, if I'm not mistaken, and he studied shorthand. One of his characters, I believe, actually uh, is a shorthand practitioner. Um, but anyway, very fascinating. Uh, once you begin to know uh, this this side of, of human history. So I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Now, get out there and practice so that you can write these better than me. All right. Bye-bye.